Hi, I'm Tom. Or some of you might know me. I am Tom. I'm the founder of the Reddit simulation community. I just wanted to give you a little context and introduction as to what our group is focused on. We sort of have this twofold purpose. One is general uh, research in, in the simulation sciences, whether it's agent-based modeling, A-Life, or on the other side of the spectrum, uh, procedural terrain, procedural weather, procedural planets, and body simulations. The whole spectrum of the sciences is it, essentially universe modeling at the holistic level is what our end goal might be. In terms of practicality, that's very extreme, but it's, you know, this is a pie in the sky project and we sort of have clear, distinct goals that we want to accomplish first, and you could ha essentially have application-specific server instances that run one part of a simulation, whether it's, you know, clouds, climate, or terrain, it does the modeling for plate tectonics and produces maps for you to plan on. It could also be the agents themselves, like how do you segment a population or split it all the way down to the individual level. How do you produce a narrative from that and have it, you know, engaging? How do you have voxels that are loadable into an application and depict a gigantic world, but only shows you the details that you're looking at? So what you're looking at gets created, and what you're not looking at exists in a probabilistic, large-scale state. So. We, we have this open source group, and that organization has started to produce a WebGL project where specific servers run aspects of the simulation and send that information to the rendering server, and that gets published on the web. It's a content delivery platform that is entirely different from anything anybody's offering. And I think that streaming services on the web is the way that we need to go to make these things have the adoption at the broad societal level. How, how, how do we market this in a way that we can connect to casual and social gamers, but give it the depth and the really deep narratives that a standalone PC game or a console game might give somebody? And then, a step beyond that, how do we have those modules talk to each other such that you could have multi-genre gaming? The one case that I like to look at the most is sort of EVE Online and Dust 514. Those two games work together on a single back-end database, and it produces an experience that is entirely different from anything else really seen in gaming. You have two different genres working in real time to produce a single experience. You could have a Sim City game talk to a Civilization game talk to a first-person Minecraft game, and they would all work in cohesion, and you could have a, you know, a back-end save file that's on the cloud, and you would be able to convert it between the genres and play whatever style you want at whatever time scale. The biggest barrier, the biggest challenge here is the computation needed to produce a higher fidelity, more realistic and believable environment. You plug in your game and your hardware has a limit and it can only do so much. You know, SimCity tried to augment that with their own servers running agent-based modeling to handle you know, people in the cities. But what I have in mind is sort of a different approach, which is rather than a predefined experience that you sell someone, you just kind of give the tools to allow users to cherry pick what they want to see, and then they can build that experience and with, with intelligent tools to help them. And then the only barrier they have left is, you know, hosting and storage, and then just let people create stuff, and rather than having people pay for a game, you would have people 
paying to build their own experience, and they could make it a massively single player experience, or if they want a cost share, they could make it multiplayer and get their friends to buy in, or they could take it to a marketplace if it's a good enough experience, and they could sell it to everyone, or it could be just a very vast simulation where people just want to, you know, help donate and seeing what models are produced from it, what emergent behavior is seen. So it's almost like you would pay to have ownership over like a new universe. And it's a very abstract concept and sort of where do you find the market motivation for people to, to do such a thing? You have to think about sort of a lot of people play games just to test the limits and I think that should be given to people. If they want more intelligent, if they want to populate a world full of intelligent NPCs at the level of IBM's Watson. Figure out what those costs are and then figure out a way to have those costs be shared.